Hi, this is Steve, and in this video, I'll be discussing the retail inventory method of estimating the value of ending inventory at cost using the accounting labs on crown101.com. The retail inventory method is useful as it allows you to estimate inventory value at any point in the year without needing a physical inventory count, and also produces a comparison of inventory values between cost and retail values. So I'll load the lab and generate an exercise. We're given beginning inventory and net purchases for the period at both cost and sale prices, as well as our net sales for the period. The first step is to determine our ending inventory at sale price. To do this, we first add our net purchases to our beginning inventory for both cost and sale price. This gives us the value for our goods available for sale. Focusing on the sale price, we subtract our net sales for the period from the value of goods available for sale to arrive at our ending inventory value at sale price. The next step is to determine the cost to sale price ratio. You find this by dividing the value of goods available for sale at cost by its sale price counterpart. Now to estimate the value of ending inventory at cost, you multiply the value of ending inventory at sale price by the cost to sale price ratio that you just determined. This scales the ending inventory at sale price by its markup, and that's how you determine the estimated inventory value at cost with the retail inventory method. Thank you.